this video again. Here we go. That's the video. This is GF Laser Bull coming at you with another Destiny video. What is going on with us? And welcome today. Today we're going to find out what Sir has in store for us. Will he have something good? Will I be right on my predictions? So much is on the line. What will happen? Let's find out on this next episode of Sir's Location. All right, so let's see what he has. Uh -huh. Come on, sir. So he has the following. Eternal Warrior for the Titan class. Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter class. Obsidian Mine for the Warlock class. Last word. So for all of you guys that were asking for my prediction video, uh, can Sir bring the last word? The last word is here, fellas. So rip Crucible because this is a very, very good weapon to use in Crucible. Especially now that we got private matches. And Legacy Ingram is a uh, heavy. So do keep in mind. I'm going to let you guys know exactly what I think you guys should pick. But before we do that, I want to remind you guys to make sure you guys pick heavy ammo synthesis. You're probably wondering, Laser, why do you recommend heavy ammo synthesis? Two reasons. Usually when you're running a raid, uh, especially a new raid, you'll probably be running low on heavy ammo. But if that's not the case, you're going to want to have enough heavy to upgrade your factions. Remember, you could upgrade your factions with heavy ammo. So make sure you guys stock up on some heavy ammo. If you have a lot of strange coins, you want to go ahead and use. Also, if you guys want any of these and you're like, you know, I kind of don't want to buy this. I don't really need them. Make sure you just pick up some three of coins. Not only will they help out for Rise of Iron, but they'll help maybe get one of these at a higher light level and you don't need to waste any strange coins. Now, as overall, in general, if you have all three classes, what do I recommend? Obsidian Mine would be number one priority if you have all three classes. Uh, definitely a very good uh, helmet to have, not only for uh, PvP, but also for PvE. Helps you stack up that super, especially with that nice bad juju and obsidian mine combo. Uh, second second one I would say is I would definitely go with the Eternal Warrior. You're probably wondering why. is because Knucklehead Radar would kind of be a little bit obsolete now that we have the, the disadvantage of we're getting you know the artifacts that are going to allow us to do what this helmet does. So it might be a little bit obsolete, but still a decent helmet. It gives you that, uh, you know, radar remains visible while aiming your primary weapon. One thing I do want to let you guys know, as far as tier 12, this is not a tier 12. So the Eternal Warrior is a skip for not a tier 12. This one is actually a tier 12, 36, 36, 51, 51, tier 12. And we have the Obsidian Mine with a non-tier 12 as well. So that's what we have, guys, that Sir brought this time around. Let me know in the comments section down below what do you guys think. Are you guys happy with what he brought? Sad that what he brought? Please let me know all that in the comment section down below, guys. And I will catch you guys on the next Destiny video.